Hey folks, Tony Mo here, and just this week, I'm bringing you guys two videos because I had them pretty much locked and loaded, and one of them is very time sensitive, that being this video on Titanfall 2. Yeah, we're gonna sit down and talk about Titanfall 2 again. I think it's been literally a year since the last time I talked about this game. It was probably when I made my Titanfall 2 in 2019 video because at that point in time, the game had gone on sale and gotten like a third life. I've seen lots of videos already in regards to the Titanfall 2 player count boost that happened over the course of the last several weeks because the game came to Steam and was also on sale for $10. And people have usually titled those videos, Titanfall 2 gets a second life. But really, Titanfall 2 is like a cat at this point. It's got nine lives and it's used up like six of them. Pretty much every time this game goes on sale or finds its way to a new platform like PlayStation Plus or in this case, Steam, it gets a nice little uptick in its player count. This has been the most substantial one for PC, not the most substantial one overall, because I think at one point PlayStation during Christmas had like 100K players and that only lasted like a week. Um, but we'll get, to, we'll get to that side of the discussion a little bit more in a second. I really just want to talk to the power of Titanfall. While this game has never had a lot of players, it continues to shock and impress me that when it does find its way to a new platform or go on sale to some extreme extent, people pick it up and they check it out. They typically enjoy the campaign and then a lot of them even hang around for the multiplayer for a little bit. And I think that kind of says something about this game. There is this sort of never ending allure to Titanfall 2. Enough so that people will pick it up, play the campaign and then actually try to play the multiplayer for a game that is over four years old that has not gotten any updates in over two years. Like again, that sort of says something. And there's this, you know, hardcore Titanfall community that always wants this to be like the update. Ah, it's coming back. But the sad reality is Titanfall 2 is not being updated, right? Like it's not happening. Uh, the game is not coming back any more than it already has. And I think at the end of the day, as a Titanfall fan, as a fan of the franchise, fan of Respawn and what they've done with both Titanfall and now with Apex Legends, I think we just need to be happy that we got to have something like this at all. Like, there's a very good chance that this is the last hurrah uh, for playing Titanfall 2 specifically on PC, and that's really cool, because at this point, the game has sort of got to have the communities behind the different platforms have been able to have one more big go. This was it for PC. Xbox and PlayStation, they already got theirs, right? The PC folks finally got it, and I played like another 20 hours with friends on and off. I played with Iniquity, with Derek, and it was a damn good time. I mean, I love this game. It's still so fucking fun. And I spoke pretty extensively in my 2019 video about why I think Titanfall 2 is so good at the, the concept of Titanfall moments, if you will, right? The idea that if you really explore the game and you jump out of its meta and you dive into the deeper parts of its sandbox, you can just have silly fun. And I've always been somebody who's enjoyed the silly fun. I mean, I had an entire loadout series for Titanfall 2 dedicated to stuff like the L-Star and the SMR, and I made a softball Christmas episode. So, you know, getting back in and messing around with the softball again and messing around with the Kraber, my suppressed RE45, it was just pure joy. And Derek will laugh at me because he'll talk about my giggle moments and I totally have them. There's not a lot of games that give me these like giggle moments where something happens, I do a thing and then I just, I giggle uncontrollably. <laughs> Titanfall 2 is, is one of the few games that manages to pull that off and honestly it is still a personal bar that I set for multiplayer shooters. Like is the game fun enough to make me giggle uncontrollably occasionally throughout the course of a match? <laughs> oh, nice try with the AWOL, pal. Good, but they're killing things, that's all I know. Oh, dude, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, there's no way I just landed that fucking fire star. This dude is... A lot of games just can't do that. And while I know a lot of people will sit there and complain endlessly about the balancing issues and the lack of competitive structure that Titanfall 2 has, I think, plain and simple, we didn't deserve this game. <laughs> Titanfall 2 is just so balls-to-the-wall fun and silly, 
so much of the time that I could not care less about its lack of competitive structure, its at times frustrating balance and design decisions because it just knows how to be one hell of a good time. And honestly, I wish more multiplayer games carried that sort of focus. It's something that I think Blackout actually did really good uh, until later on. Uh, it's just something that a lot of games don't do because there's this obsession from the communities and from the streamers who play the games for everything to be like hyper balanced. And I just don't think that makes for interesting gameplay experiences. It makes for a game like Valorant, which, you know, there might be a lot of people playing that game, but I don't exactly see people shouting off the rooftops about how fun Valorant is. <laughs> It doesn't carry that same fun factor that Titanfall 2 does. The same fun factor that Battlefield was so well known for for so many years and something that the series has recently struggled to find and I hope it can find once again because that's a special thing for multiplayer games to do and while it doesn't necessarily make for a game that is also accessible to a large community, it's still a nice thing to have. Like Titanfall 2 at the end of the day is always gonna be a niche experience. It has a relatively high skill ceiling uh, and the barrier for entry, especially if you're coming in four years after launch is pretty freaking steep. You've got a lot of people flying across the map and you're over there just trying to figure out how to shoot straight. But again, that all said, the fact that over 15,000 people were playing the game for the last few weeks on PC was a true joy. A is a wonderful little moment. And I can sit here happily talking about Titanfall 2 with you sort of one last time to say like, if that's the last hurrah that I get with this game, then that was a good one. I'll go out on that happy note. I'll say goodbye, a little tear will slide down my eye, but it's okay. <laughs> like, it was a good run. And while the game didn't really see the support from players, from, from the people who could have bought the game and played the multiplayer that I think a lot of us hoped it did, which in turn led to a lack of support from Respawn because the game just wasn't really that financially successful post-launch. It didn't warrant money and time and DLC being thrown at it. Again, it's okay. <laughs> the best things, especially when it comes to games, are sometimes the niche ones. And unfortunately, in a big market, it's the niche games, especially when we talk about multiplayer, that don't usually get to live on. But I can assure you that not many of us will forget Titanfall 2 and the multiplayer experience it offered anytime soon. Not to mention the freaking fantastic campaign, which will always live on. If the server shut down one day, people will still be able to play that campaign. And who knows, maybe in some far distant future, we'll get a Titanfall 3. We'll get a Titanfall sequel of some sort that continues the story of Jack Cooper in BT and takes us back to that wall running, just over the top movement focused FPS experience that so many of us have come to love and know. It's been a good ride and you've been one hell of a friend Titanfall 2. I'll miss you, but I won't soon forget you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to share some of your personal Titanfall 2 stories, multiplayer, single player, otherwise, down in the comment section below. This is definitely a good place to do that. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next one.